Hey friends, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're a turner, thank you for coming back. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about what I've been eating for weight loss. Some of these things I've shown you guys like full like clips. Some of these I just have like photos. So I'll talk you guys through basically all my recipes. These recipes are perfect for if you're a nine to five girly like me. So if you're basically someone who's always on the go, if you don't spend a lot of time at your house, or even you're just a lazy cook. Like, I mean, I'm personally just a lazy cook. <laughs> like, I definitely have enough time, but I just don't feel like cooking like that. These recipes are all perfect for if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to save time, and you're also just trying to, you know, improve your overall diet without feeling like you're on a diet. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So starting off with breakfast, I actually kind of went through a metabolism journey this year. I've really been working on getting my metabolism back to a place of waking up hungry and just, you know, eating frequently but less amounts every time I eat. So if you're like me, then you probably freaking hate breakfast. What I've been doing is using breakfast as a time to get my fruit intake. So basically what I've been doing is making fruit smoothies for breakfast. Very simple, I just take like a frozen fruit pack with strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, like all that mix. And I add in pineapple and sometimes I add in honey, depending on how I'm feeling. And I kind of eat that as, well, I drink that as a meal replacement. So if you follow me on TikTok, you've probably already seen what I have for lunch. But I'm very, very, very big on the mason jar salads. I know, I know, I know. Y'all are gonna be like, whatever. Like, everyone's just doing that because it's trendy. It's actually so freaking helpful. Like, if you're trying to eat more salads, making the mason jar salads, it's just, it's, it's ingenious. Like, it's literally changed my whole diet and like makes me excited for lunch and all I ever eat are salads but I love them and I think it's very important to get a dressing that you really like so find a low-fat dressing something that you really enjoy so personally I like the vegan goddess dressing um I get it from my local store and um I use that probably every week there was one week I tried to do like a chipotle ranch and I was like fuck this and then I'm always super light on the seasoning with my chicken just so I don't have too much like you know too much going on in the salad and so i could use the chicken for multiple things and then i like to add um almonds and like craisins and sometimes i add like crunchy tortilla strips or like the crispy onion strips so i'll get like a head of lettuce and i'll chop it up and then i'll add in like spinach and kale and that'll be like the salad and then it's just so nice because i make like my salads for the week on mondays they basically stay fresh because you put the dressing at the bottom and you put the chicken and you kind of layer it from like the things that will get soggy to like the salad and then you wait and you shake it right before you eat it girl it's for one if you're a nine to five girly like me like this is something so simple that i don't even meal prep this until i go to eat it until i'm going to make a salad for myself on like a sunday or a monday that's when i'll just make four salads at the same time like i don't actually like meal prep this very often like it's very much like i'm making a salad so i make four <laughs> i put four of them in like three of them in like mason jars and then i have salads for the whole week it's just it's so simple i eat this every freaking day of the week and every week i kind of switch it up like i'll make my chicken differently or i'll add different toppings but just like keeping it fresh and it just it makes it so easy to eat like a salad every day and not feel like sick of them so for dinner i kind of like to i kind of like to switch things up depending on the week but one thing that I do do is like if I make something for the week, I'm probably eating that dinner for the entire week. And I'm not really someone that makes something different for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Like I'm going to eat the same thing all week because again, we're lazy, we're busy, and that's just the way things go sometimes. So for a while, I was on a really big taco salad kick. So basically, I would make ground turkey every week and then I would make like a taco salad, you know, like I would add salad, probably like a scoop of rice, my turkey meat, like that would kind of replace like the beef. And I would add kind of like, um, 
like tomatoes and like, or I'd add like salsa, add like cucumbers, I'd add like carrots sometimes, like just depending on what vegetables I had. And then I'd add like a dressing. One recipe that I've been trying more recently is kind of this fake like Chinese food, like I guess imitation Chinese food. That's one thing that if you're on a weight loss journey that really helps me is basically trying to imitate foods that I really like. So I love Chinese food, but I, you know, like I don't want to order in Chinese food all the time. So I think it's important to like, okay, figure out how you're going to make it. One, to save money, but two, because this is also a lot healthier if you make this yourself than like ordering like it from the actual restaurant. The last bit of what I've been kind of doing for my diet is obviously snacks. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not really big on fruit. And I think one thing that's really been helping me to lose weight this year is to get back to being a person that likes fruit. And it's not that I dislike fruit, it's more that I just like, I really like eating meals. Like when I get hungry, I want to have a plate of food. I don't want to peck at something. So I feel like my brain is never like, oh yeah, let's go eat some grapes. No, like I want fucking chicken and rice. Just trying to like, what I've been doing is instead of waiting until I'm hungry to snack is like actually like forcing myself to snack. So like the only time that I really force myself to eat is like when I know I'm not going to eat lunch until 1 or 2 p.m. and it's already like 10, 30 or like 11 and I ate breakfast at like eight. So then I'll be like, go eat something. So by the time lunch rolls around, you're not starving. Doing that, especially when I'm at home, it's just so nice. I'll make myself like a little charcuterie board. But I'll have like grapes and like cheese and like crackers and stuff like that. It won't be a pretty aesthetic <laughs> charcuterie board. It's not like the prettiest one, but it's nonetheless this charcuterie board. I've been eating a lot more bananas. So I would say I also probably eat a banana a day. And now that I'm back at a place that I'm working out religiously and like, you know, I'm going like four to five times a week and I'm like really watching what I eat, like eat. I wake up and I'm so freaking hungry. Like I wake up so hungry, like I can't even go to the gym. I have to eat a banana before I can even motivate myself to like leave because I feel like, oh my God, there's nothing in my belly. I can't even move. Tapping back into fruit has been perfect because I really feel like there's no time of the day that you can not eat fruit. Like I feel like whether it's the first thing in the morning or like after you've already eaten at night, like, Throwing in an apple or a pear or a banana at any point, it's like low key like, okay, yep, I'm good, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. And finally, this one isn't really a snack, but I will just add that I've been drinking a lot of kombucha. So I never really liked kombucha before this year. And this year, I don't know what happened to me, but I drank one one day and I was like, oh, this is, this is it y'all and i just now i have like a glass every night sometimes i have some in the morning and i have some at night like i got to a point that i had to chill because i would like constantly walk to the store and just grab like a glass bottle put my little straw in it and i'd be just drinking that because i just love kombucha but i find like if i'm going to drink juice or i feel like drinking juice i would rather drink kombucha than like drinking just like fruit juice because i'm bored so that is what I've been eating this year for my weight loss journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because you know, it'll help me and it's free and you know, you love the video. So, and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos and I will see you guys next time.